Good evening, this is uh, Grow It, Build It, and uh, tonight I'm going to show you how to plant uh, two different types of perennial flowers that are very similar uh, in how you plant them, and uh, they're cousins, they're related. Uh, both are uh, native to the eastern half of North America, the cardinal flower and the great blue lobelia. And uh, so these plants have extremely tiny seeds, very tiny. I'm going to try to get a good shot so you can see just how tiny and give you a pencil for reference. But all those little brown specks are the seeds. It's almost like powder. Um, so when the seed's that small, they generally need sunlight to germinate. Um, if you look up literature, so the first one I'm going to do is cardinal flower, and this is uh, one that I've grown many times before. I gathered this seed from some that I had grown, uh, and uh, I'll make sure I get some pictures of it. But uh, I've got a six pack packed, and all I'm going to do, I, I just took a pinch of seed in my fingers, and I'm just going to gently rub my fingers together until I see some seed falling. And I always overplant this and wind up with a whole lot of baby seedlings, and that's okay. Because, you know, the seed's cheap. It's free for me, and I own tweezers, so it's not a problem to get in there and uh, sort it out. Uh, thin them down or separate them and, you know, turn a six pack into uh, a dozen 18 plants, whatever I need to do. Um, if you look up the literature though, they're going to tell you that you need to stratify these for a month or two, uh, both this and uh, blue labelia. Uh, labelia. But uh, I've grown probably 30 to 50 of these before, and I've really never stratified anything. Um, I just found that when you don't, it takes a couple weeks to, for them to germinate. Plus, stratification, it will increase your germination rate, but it's so difficult to uh, control how many seeds you put down with this one um, that I uh, I never seem to have an issue with having too many plants. I'll put it that way. Um, but they're kind of interesting though. So blue lobelia, and I'll, I'll get a picture of it here. Um, they're hummingbird magnets. They're perennials. They bloom in the mid midsummer uh, into late summer. They bloom slight or they bloom at slightly different times. And now I'm just same thing here, just I can see I've overseeded a couple of these already. Yep, there's a bad one. But that's okay. Uh, they won't all germinate. But, uh, they're very interesting plants though. Um, hummingbirds love them. Butterflies love them. Bees cannot pollinate them uh, because the throat on the flower is uh, just too deep for it. Um, now the cardinal flower, I really I've gotten it to bloom the first year once, but generally they don't. Blue the Belia, if you get it in there uh, early enough, it will uh, uh, bloom the first year late. Um, but the Blue the Belia gets around uh, two to three feet tall, uh, likes full sun, can take shade, likes to have moist soil, so you would say it likes wet feet. Um, the Cardinal Flower. Uh, same kind of characteristics. It likes wet feet, likes full sun, can take some shade. Uh, but um, uh, the cardinal flower the first year, it's just going to be a flat rosette on the ground. It's going to be just a rosette of leaves flat on the ground the whole time. And it's going to stay like that all winter too. Um, you don't need to, uh, like, you kind of want to make sure it doesn't get covered up, you know, uh, too much uh, come springtime. But you know, the cardinal flower will get three to four foot tall in good conditions. Um, you know, they're very hardy plants as long as you keep them watered or they are in moist soil. Uh, but they're very easy to grow from seed. Uh, you just have to have a little patience and some tweezers. And uh, that's really about it. Uh, I'll make sure I get some pictures up. If you have questions, ask them in the comments. Um, if you like the video, click like, click subscribe if you'd like to get more reference material like this in the future. Uh, thank you very much.